in the old wood near Hutton. So across the fields there, across those fields, there's a little car park and there's the Roman road that I was on the other day going down towards Bleeden. There's a wild field over there, look, and more woods. And I know that there is a way that I could have gone around that way, which I'm going to explore another time. I haven't done it yet, and I'm not doing it today, but I will do it. I will do it, and I might do it this year. I just want to go over here a minute. There's a really big tree that looks very dead. Just want to zoom in on it a minute. It's a very wild field, this, isn't it? You wonder sometimes if they're that wild, why? See that tree there, look. It's totally dead, that one. I mean, it could have been shot by lightning. Of all the trees, wonder why that one is totally dead. I ought to get a book on trees again. I'm forgetting to remember. Is that an elm, for example, this one? Because elms got that Dutch elm disease once and it wiped a lot of them out. It's quite creepy, this wood. I don't know if I'd want to walk in it at night. Um, but it's friendly as well. They know what they know. I'm a wood girl. They know. They know. But, you know, I don't know. There's just something about them that they hold secrets. These woods hold secrets. I can feel them. I can feel the secrets. See, look at this. Not quite a nice little view through there, isn't it? No cows, because the cows, when they are out, they wander in here. They come in here for shelter when it's really hot. So, Hutton Woods, and it's coming up to a little gate, and then what we do, we go down a track, <sighs> something called Canada Comb, that is all over there I think, I will explore that one day, I will do it, um, but they, they are spooky, these, these woods are spooky. There's something very spiritual about them. Um, like I said, they hold secrets. You can feel it when you're in a wood. Um, I know that the Quantock Hills, they do as well, but I don't... They've known me since childhood, you see, the Quantocks. So, they've known me... Some of them have been there before, long before I was born. They've known me since I was a child. So it's almost like their family. Right, so we now follow the public footpath, if we can get through. It's not always easy getting through with the bag, I've noticed. You've got to, your boobs get in the way or something. That's it. Got through, just... So there's that wild field. That's, that's a mystery as well, that field. There's some, there's some weird things about this walk. I've, I've felt this from the beginning. Um, yeah. There's just something about it. I can't really explain it. But I think it might have been linked to mining. I got a feeling I did find a bit of pottery once up here. There's um, holes and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it, so I don't always label everything I find. Yeah, this is just right for me, this temperature, you know. It could get hotter this afternoon when I start hitting the more open spaces. Because today, the plan is, you're not getting no bus back. The plan today is to walk down the big steep hill that I love, past the apple trees, 
in orchards until I get to the River Act area, go through a load of fields, climb up Bleeding Hill area, and then I have to follow the, sit the, A, the B or A371, it's a western road. There might be some fields I can get in just so I don't have to actually walk on that busy road exactly. Because um, it's a dangerous road to cross, there's only, it's, and it's going to be very busy, so I might, so a lot of people just stay on the pavement. Although there is the old road that I like doing, but then, this it's very dangerous to cross, extremely dangerous. I mean, people have been killed there. People have been killed in a nasty way. Like, really smashed up. So, um, this time of year would be worse than ever, and a Saturday. People come in to visit Weston. It's fast road as well, it's fast. Anyway, that's later. This bit of old farm and equipment has been here for years. This is this has been here for years, some sort of machinery. I don't really know what it is. It obviously does something, doesn't it? Maybe it collects the bells or has it got big teeth? Not sure what that is. I'll take a picture of it. Well, I'm going to stop here and uh, come back on in a minute. Now, I feel like I haven't been here for at least three years, maybe four. It does feel that long ago. But it might only be three years. I'll have to look it up. Over and out. Carrying on the walk. Just seen the tractor picking up the big bales and stacking them after the harvesting. He obviously comes down here in a minute when he's finished stacking. I wouldn't want to be in the way when he comes down here. But I don't know how many bales he's got to lift yet. I couldn't see over the other side of the field once I got to the gate. There'll be, be somewhere there's a, there are there's the the little road down here you see they do have a busy life farmers you know don't they you think about it they really do have busy lives they work really hard a lot of them are worried about losing their subsidy when we leave Europe aren't they at least they depend on it Well, we did the shit on um, the New Zealanders, apparently. I met a woman from New Zealand the other day. She's got no sympathy with us. She said they left New Zealand in the lurch when they went into Europe. And we have mad New Zealand lamb. Right, here's a lovely little cottage, look. When we come out of this lane. See? Lovely little cottage there, look. I'll just take a picture, hold on. 